Hey guys, um, just want to start off by saying thank you for booking the Martin Road house with us. I hope you enjoy the house as much as we do. Uh, this video, we're going to quickly go over how to use the TV, how to use the streaming box with the universal remote. Okay, so when you're sitting on the couch, you're going to notice this white bowl here. This is your universal remote. Uh, this is all you need to control the TV. So there's three different devices that we need in order to watch TV. So you have the uh, the TV, obviously, which is there, the speaker, which is here, and then the cable box, which is right down through here, okay? Now, this universal remote allows you to use all three of those at the same time. Um, so the first thing that we're going to see is this big LED screen here, which has Watch TV on it. So what you want to do is point the remote at the TV, and you want to hit this button right here on the left that says Watch TV. So if I do that, it will turn on all three devices but uh, just so you're aware, it's a little weird sometimes. I don't know why the speaker doesn't go to the right setting, but the speaker doesn't go to the right input, so I'll show you how to adjust that real quick. Okay. If for some reason something doesn't turn on, uh, it's pretty simple. So if we go back here under the screen, you have your power for your TV there, so you can just toggle that. We'll turn it on and off. The speaker power is here, and the cable box power is here. So if one of those don't turn on, you can just hit any of those buttons, and it will turn on. Okay. Um, now... Once we're to this screen, this is your home screen for the TV. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to use the arrows here, okay? And then this exit button is your back button. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to where it says free stream TV. You're going to click that. It's going to bring you to the next page, which is the Mario page. Okay, see the little Mario guy in the top right corner? Um, what you want to click here is the, the one all the way to the left where it says media center, okay? So if you see where I highlight there, it's that big one on the left. Okay, You're going to click that, and now this is going to load. So give it about a minute to load. It's going to load up all the TV shows. It's going to load up all the, the TV guide and everything. But from here, um, this box allows you to look and watch any TV that you want. It has everything, HBO, Cinemax, pay-per-view, every channel. Um, you can search movies, and you can search TV shows. On the bottom, you're going to see these little tabs here or these little um, categories. So the first one is sports. These are where you can look at sports, obviously. There's pay-per-view events over here on the left. Um, and if you go back up, you go over to live TV. This is where you watch live TV, obviously. Um, all these little things in the bottom here are just different uh, like channels, essentially. You can think of them as. So if one of them is not working, you could just choose another one. Okay, You see how it's loading at the top there, all the channels? And then you have your movies and TVs. Uh, it will highlight some of the new movies released out here. You can click on any of those and it'll, they'll work. And then let's go back to TV Guide. So if we come back down here to TV Guide, we just click TV Guide. Now that it's loaded. And it's going to give you all the channels. So these are all the channels. Okay, you can see it. There's hundreds of them. You have everything here that you like. Uh, ESPN, everything. So um, if you come down to, it doesn't matter what we click on here. We'll go to Sports Center here real quick. We'll click on that. And that's going to load up and it's going to play. Now you can see here that my sound isn't working correctly. Um, so if we go back down here to, to the remote, if we click on devices and then we click on the speaker because that's the one that's not working correctly, you're going to see this thing that says input. What you're going to do is you're just going to push the input button and you're going to see the speaker light up here. Okay, right underneath the TV. Now you're just going to keep pushing it until it finds its thing. So you're going to push it, let it sit there for a second and see if that's the right channel or the right input seems not to be the right one that's not the right one either okay i think it's the one where the three little dots are on the left which i know it's hard to see from this video but should be one of these nope not that one let's try that one and there's our sound okay so now that we got our sound we just want to hit the back button here and then you want to hit where it says activity Okay, and that will bring you to the watch TV uh, screen. That's where you want to be when you're using the TV. Now, if I hit the volume, right, it'll work. Volume up here. And it looks like there's soccer on right now. Okay, so from here, the exit button is what brings us back. So if you want to go back to the TV guide, hit the exit button. That'll bring us back here. If you want to go all the way back, just hit it a couple times and it will come back to here. Okay, I'm just going to stop that so we can stop the background noise. Um, so if I go over to movies here and TV shows, if you go down to the bottom little sub 
section. You can use any of these to look for movies, okay? Um, or if you want to search for a movie, you just go over here to movie search or TV search for TV shows over here. So if I quickly go into here, well, actually, let's just click on one of these at the top here. Let's go Luca. Did I click it? So we click on that. What's it going to do? It's going to load and it's going to look on the internet for these sources. Okay, that's what it's doing here. So give it about 45 seconds. It's going to look through all of these different things. And then once it gets them all, it's going to list them for you. And you can choose any of them. Um, just so you're aware, when you are when you click on one, a lot of them are out of different languages. So if, if it's in a different language, just hit the back button and choose a different one. And just kind of work your way down the list until you find the one that's in English or whatever language you speak. I'll give it. Okay, so now we're loaded up, and those are all the different sources. You can click on any of these sources. If you just click on one, it'll bring that up. Just one second here. Maybe. Maybe not. Well, in that case, you can just come down into, into the, the bottom tab there and look at it. Oh, there it goes. Just took a second. Okay, and there's the movie, Luca. And that's about it, guys. If you have any questions or have any issues, just send us a message on Airbnb platform, and we'll certainly walk you through how you need to fix everything. Um, when you're done with it, you come here and you just hit the top power button. It will shut off all three. Just make sure you're pointing it at the TV. Hit the power button and it will shut off all three devices. All right, guys, and that's it. I hope you enjoy the lake house as much as we do. And um, we look forward to hosting you guys. Thanks.